the most lousy environment, and it is despite today, okay? We need to find stocks that can overcome the downward gravitational pull that's afflicting almost all stocks. I'm talking about stocks like longtime Kramer Fave Herbalife, HLF, the network marketing company that sells everything from protein shakes and energy drinks to vitamins and nutritional supplements. Herbalife is what's known as a direct sales company with 2.3 million part-time distributors selling their products. I want you to think of it as the Tupperware or Avon of the supplement business, and man, is it ever working all over the world. Herbalife was up big yesterday after delivering a stellar quarter Monday night, and I think the stock would have been even up even more if it hadn't reported in the middle of the bloodbath, as it rallied another $2.36 today. That's one of the two best, uh, it's one of the best two-day performers in this wacky market, other than maybe MasterCard. This is a company that keeps on delivering incredible quarter after incredible quarter. People keep underestimating them. Hey, they underestimate themselves. And the stock keeps powering higher. I'm calling it a true Jackie Wilson stock, higher and higher, even when everything else is falling apart. Herbalife earned 88 cents a share, 5 cent beat, on stronger than expected revenues that rose 27.7% year over year. And they posted these terrific numbers despite some very tough comparisons from last year. The company also delivered record volumes. That's how you have to gauge this thing. It's called volume points. And gave upside guidance for the next quarter in the full year. No wonder the stock rallied yesterday and again today. Now, Herbalife is an international player. It gets only 20% of its sales from North America. It's far more levered to fast-growing emerging markets. And apparently it works even when the central banks of those countries are slamming on the brakes. Mexican sales up 31%. Asia Pacific up 29%. 42% increase in the number of distributors. Russia up 46%, courtesy of 45% increase in new distributors. India, 121%. South Central America, 44%. And this company knows of no debt ceiling. It may not even know of a sales ceiling, or at least nothing near here. The stock has already made you a ton of money. It's up 199% since I got behind it in November 2009. The split adjusted for $20.45. You know what? It ain't done. Let's dig deeper to try to understand why this company seems to be unstoppable. With Michael Johnson, Herbalife's terrific chairman and CEO. Mr. Johnson, welcome back to Mad Money. Hi, Jim. Thanks for having us. All right, listen. I, I'm on a lot of quarters. This is the only one that I have said this whole season. Congratulations on a good quarter. You had a guide up. I, this was the most sensational guide up I've ever. I'm just going to tell people. Uh, buying growth 15 to 17 compared to previous guidance of 12 to 14. Uh, sales 22 to 24 percent compared to 18 to 20. I mean, this is just a remarkable guide up. How did it happen intra quarter that you could do so much better over a 90 day period than you would have thought 90 days ago? Momentum, Jim. Um, we've got the best distributors in the world as far as we're concerned, and the momentum that these folks are bringing to the marketplace with a great product in the middle of this obesity epidemic and obviously an income opportunity that is really needed in these times. Now, what I think I, think I was amazed about was that in some towns, something like 20% of the people are involved with clubs for daily supplements. Look, look, people won't believe that. You've got to explain that to people. I got this doubting Thomas Herb Greenberg. He was all over me saying, hey, listen, could that be new skin? I said, would you understand this is a health and nutrition company? Give me why some, a town could have 20% of its people in clubs. Well, I don't know if we have 20% of people in clubs. It'd have to be a pretty small town to do that because our penetration rate right now, and you've talked about it in volume points, on a global basis in the markets, we're in is only 0.8. We've got some marketplaces that are at 8 or even 10 volume points per capita. That's why we think we've got so much runway ahead of us, and that's why we're so excited about the future. We keep saying we're just getting started. And these towns that may have 20% penetration, they're going to be pretty small towns, but hopefully we'll get that in some of the larger towns soon. Right now, because I know people say, now, wait a second, Jim. You didn't like eyeballs when the dot com started. Now you're suddenly embracing volume points. How come right. I don't hear volume points when it comes to uh, Johnson and Johnson? I need you, Michael, to put volume points in English to say why they're more important actually than, say, sales sometimes. Well, let me do it simply. Volume point basically is what we register as a mechanism. It's just a, it's a dollar, if you will, a dollar value on a global basis. If you're an Herbalife distributor, you might sell something for dollars in one market and pesos in another, but it's attached to a volume point. And so there's a commonality okay. among the volume points around the world. I All hope right. that was simple enough. Yeah, no, it is. That's great. Well, look, I'm only doing it because, I, look, you and I met when I was critical initially of your model. That was 200% ago. Right. I, 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 I've been not only won <laughs> over, but I don't know who else. I mean, I, I don't know how you cannot be won over by these sales, but I always want people understand that conviction to own a stock comes from understanding every single metric and that volume points an important metric now you guys have this new line 
that I find that is very exciting. We talked about it last time. It's called 24. You're using a unique way to get the message out. You got two more, I uh, know, one more soccer game. You call it football wisely because that's it's an international company, and you got right. a road race coming up, a bike race. Why are these ways working versus say uh, commercials on uh, CNBC? Well, because they're directly targeted to the consumers that are using the products and the people who are around what we call a healthy, active lifestyle. When we get around the football challenge, the World Football Challenge, which was a huge event for us, bringing these teams from all over the world into play, U.S. teams, um, we have distributors there, we have folks who are focused on the product, and we have contact with the teams and their trainers and doctors from our doctors who can talk to them about the nutritional benefits of 24. We got a lot of these teams lined up to start to test our products, to work with us. They love the formulas, they love the fact that we've got a banned substance uh, testing on right, every single right. product. And what's, what's happening uh, in a couple of weeks is it's called the Leadville 100. It's kind of the, if you will, the New York marathon of the mountain, ba uh, mountain biking world. It is a place to test yourself. Lance Armstrong won this thing a couple years ago. Um, Levi Leipheimer won it last year. The pros are coming into this thing. This is a huge test. It starts at 10,200 feet in Leadville, Colorado. You climb 11,000 feet over 103 miles. If you make it in under 12 hours, you get this huge, wonderful belt buckle. Some of these pros are doing it in under seven hours. It's fantastic. But being around that, we're around the people who are influencers in their community of a healthy, active lifestyle and an endurance mentality. And so they're sampling these products there. We're giving them a shake at the end of the race. They're having our prolonged product on course during the race itself. We're one of the sponsors of it, obviously, and it gives us a great chance to get feedback, to test people, to give them an opportunity to try the product. It's, it's a great Great way to reach into a targeted Am market. Am I talking to someone who I'm going to be able to get feedback from and test after that race? <laughs> Are you in it? Uh, yeah, Jim. This, uh, yeah, I'm in it. This is my second time. Um, I'm I'm going for a belt buckle. I'm I'm certainly not one of those seven or eight hour guys. I'll be happy to get in in under 12. All right. The, the last thing I want to talk about is the, the idea that. Uh, you guys are having tremendous success with individuals. We, we spoke to Rick Goings. He's a terrific guy who runs Tupperware. He is saying that you can't uh, make up one-on-one. -on -one. In other words, advertising these days, people are very suspicious. But when you have someone at, a, at a, a daily supplement meeting who says, look how thin I am, that's how come this product works. Well, it's passion. It's passion marketing. I mean, it's face to face. When we we call it use wear talk. Use the product. Wear something that's over life, and then talk to somebody about it. And if you get somebody who loses 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, their life changes. Yes. And that story is a incredible story. And people see the story on their body. They say, Hey, what'd you do, Jim? How'd you lose right. all that weight? Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you taking? It's a personal endorsement. It's like a movie or a car endorsement. When somebody you trust tells you that, game on. Well, I got to tell you, the story I like is, the, is Michael Johnson's chairman CEO of Herbalife story. You have made fortunes, fortunes for our viewers. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Good luck in the race. Jim, thanks for the support. We appreciate it, and I'll uh, do my best. All right, all right. <laughs> Michael Johnson has delivered and delivered and delivered. This conference call is filled with superlatives. I want you to understand volume points. I want to understand daily supplements, because if you don't, when the stock has an air pocket, you'll sell it instead of buying it. Michael Johnson, Chairman and CEO of Herbalife, perhaps the best performing stock that we have ever talked about on the show. Stay with Kramer.